So, uh, yesterday we have discussed about the uh, XML checkpoint and uh, accessibility checkpoint, right? How normally we validate the uh, XML files and how we validate the, uh, how we very, uh, insert the accessibility checkpoint or not. And we, we have left out with only one checkpoint uh, that's called as uh, file content checkpoint, okay? So, this checkpoint is, uh, introduced uh, from EFT, that means from 11.5 version onwards and this feature uh, was not available, this checkpoint was not available uh, in the QTP 11, okay, so older versions and all, it was not uh, available, okay. Then, so how exactly uh, this file content checkpoint works and what exactly this uh, uh, file content checkpoint meant for is, File content checkpoint is used for validating the content of the files, like not all the files, but only few types of files, a PDF file or it's Word document or it is a text document file, a test or text file or it can be an HTML file. So to validate the content, whatever the data is there inside the file, to validate that content, we use this file content checkpoint. Okay, so if you want to validate the PDF file content, if you want to validate the Word or if you want to validate the HTML file content or all, you can use this. Okay, so how we can, uh, you know, uh, implement this? You don't need to do the recording to implement this checkpoint, like other checkpoints, other checkpoints uh, need to be recorded. I mean, we have to start recording to implement those uh, checkpoints. But for this, you don't need to do the recording. The reason because this will not interact with the application. This is uh, this checkpoint will interact with the local files which are saved in the local system. Okay, the files which are saved in the local system. Then what you do is to insert the file content checkpoint, go to design checkpoint, and can you see something called file content checkpoint here? And select file content checkpoint. Then as soon as you uh, click on that, and then it will ask you to uh, select the file here, whatever the file it is. You can see there are different types of files all supported. You have got PDF or you have got HTML or you got RTF. RTF stands for rich text format. Maybe you, if you have WordPad or something, you know, in the old versions we have WordPad, now it is not there. But if you have any RTF uh, files, then you can see txt or doc or dox uh, docx that's both for word only these kind of files normally uh, you know you can validate not any other type okay now so just navigate to the file then you can uh, select any of the file whatever the file that you have here So we will go with the uh, different files, whatever available. Then as I said, testing questions is there. I'm just selecting one Word document and click on OK. Sorry, open. Then as soon as you click on open, then what it will have do is it will uh, open the document. Okay, so like this. Then it will display the complete content of the Word document. And then you can select which line you want to validate in that. Do you want to validate all the lines? Then there is only one page available. If multiple pages are there, you will get that page list. Page 1, page 2, page 3 like that. And if you expand that, it will display list of all the... Uh, sorry, there are a lot of pages. Sorry. There are around 18 pages are there. So there are total 18 pages available in this. Now, if you want to validate entire page content, you select that entire page. <coughs> okay. Or if you don't want to sell, validate entire page, now what I want is, I want to validate second line of the first page. You want to, I want to validate second line of the first page. What is there? Then what you do is, you just select that line. You select that line and then, you know, give your expected result here. After selecting line, give your expected result. And if you want to say that this text, 
will be changing but will be changing in a pattern then you can give you this is what expected text if you want to change the text you can also do it what makes a good software engineer so something what i'm expecting is here the text in the second line should be like this what makes you to be a good software engineer this is what my expected text actual text was there is something but now this is what i am expecting so you select the line and in that line you type the expected text whatever it is or there are some regular expressions i mean sorry the text is keep changing but is changing in a particular order now let's say okay i generated one now maybe an agreement type of okay or an agreement or i just downloaded one report in that report maybe on top with the very first line order id or something will be there id will be there that id will be keep changing but in a particular pattern then what you do is if you want to validate whether the id is displayed on top or not in the first line you select that line and then you can insert the regular expressions here you want to add the backslash no then you have regular expression option enabled here then question mark is treated as regular expression if you say backward uh, sorry backslash and question mark that is exactly question mark it will match with like this you can use the regular expressions also if you want but what you are doing here either you are selecting see you are not validating the images and all if there are any images and all you cannot validate the images by using file content checkpoint you can validate only text inside the checkpoint file content sorry you can validate only text inside the files here from supported uh, files only four types of files supported uh, pdf html uh, five types rtf txt and word document okay so do you have to select the file and then you have to select the line or select multiple lines it's not only one line you can select multiple lines to be validated or you can uh, select entire page to be validated or you can select multiple pages also not only one page if you want to validate uh, you know different different pages then you can select entire page if you want all pages also you can select okay and then click on okay so checkpoint has been inserted okay now what i do is run the script now will the checkpoint uh, get passed or failed checkpoint will be failed now because i changed my expected result but when you look at the word document the in the document uh, text might be different now look at the checkpoint let's see what happens because i changed the expected result in that second line i modified the text it's failed let's see the failure one minute let it get load completely so one thing one checkpoint is failed here it will just show the failure here but the details will be shown here below it just wait it is still loading here it is taking little time because entire file has to be loaded both expected and actual has to be loaded so that's the reason it has taken so now you can see the clear reporting here one minute just wait for a while yeah oops just wait view uh, capture data see whatever the line is highlighted that got the change expected is what makes you to be a good software engineer that's what i'm expecting here but the actual text in the uh, file is what makes a good software test engineer there is a small mismatch between the expected text in that line and actual text okay so same thing now what we will do is where is that uh, document is it in e driver it's in a uh, e drive this one right so this is the file that we have validated 
then what makes you to be what makes you to be a good software test engineer is that what uh, we have written there right so the same thing we have written there let's see go to check file properties what makes you to be a good software engineer good software engineer no now that is the same text that we have written there close it now run it go to view last one results and it is still passed up. okay maybe it is not taking the regular expression backward slash so just wait it is loading to be a good software so text is same right and then because we have enabled regular expression that should not be a pattern so because backward slash question mark means exactly question mark you are looking for but if you give, if you don't give backward slash question mark, if you give only question mark, that will make R as optional, right? So the meaning will be different. So that's the reason we have added backward slash. Let's see now, I just changed a little bit. Let's change the You last one results. past case matters for software engineer in the expected i have given small s but in the document i have given uh, yeah, ss caps uh, uppercase letter so that was the reason it's failed but backward slash is you know that's one of the regular expression pattern we use it will not consider backward slash backward slash question mark it will consider only question mark there. okay so like this what you can do is uh, it's you know you can select any of the line and you can validate the uh, content of it any line or particular part of the line also you can validate or that line you can use the regular expressions as well okay for that line you can use the regular expressions or you can select multiple lines and then validate or you can select multiple pages and then validate anything Okay, but it will not validate the images and all you cannot do that. Content means only the text to content you can validate. That's a limitation here. Okay, and like this you can validate a PDF file or you can validate a Word document, a text document, anything. Process is same here. Got what I'm saying here? This is what file content checkpoint meet for. And uh, when you say file content checkpoint through scripting part, we have seen file system object for text files. We know how to read the data from text files. How do we do that? We create file system object. We have already discussed, right? We have already discussed. Even yesterday also in the VB script part, we discussed about that. So we use file system object. Using file system object, we can read the data from text file and then you can validate with your expected results. And if you want to read the data from Word document, then you have on a one object you create something called create object word dot application okay word dot application 
like excel dot application we have so similarly you have word dot application so from this by using this you can read but for now you don't need to understand or you know i'm not going to write that because there is something that which we never uh, use then word doc documents dot open then you give the excel so there excel dot up uh, workbooks dot open here word dot document you call it as a document there you call it as a workbook in excel so very similar process like this okay so this is how normally we can uh, read the data from excel but uh, sorry word document i have not given the complete script but you can use word dot application but most of the times we don't need to read the data from word document we don't use word documents to store test data or all those things okay and uh, when it comes to the pdf file when it comes to the html file html you can read by using uh, fs only file system object because html also one of the text stream you know you can read the data from html file also source code you can read okay but when it comes to the pdf file then uh, to read the pdf file here to validate the pdf file then we don't have any inbuilt object available in the uft and vb script or uft will not directly support the pdfs so we need to look at some alternatives but normally what we do in the reality is you know we develop certain dlls in c sharp in case if uft is not supporting then we develop some dlls from uh, c sharp and then we uh, you know uh, use those dlls from the c sharp bundle because for pdf bundle we don't have any inbuilt uh, object available in the uft so for now we may not be able to write the script okay so later we will see that so when it comes to word you know using the dll c sharp dlls in our uh, uh, scripts is one of uh, the concept that we do have so there we develop some dlls and then i will show you how to use those dlls in the system for that i need to install visual studio on all and we don't have the visual studio as of now we will see them later okay so this is about the file content checkpoint what you are doing in file content checkpoint you are just validating the text to content of the files pdf file or word document or uh, text document or uh, rtf document in its text format or html file for any of this file you can validate the text you but file has to be in the local system another drawback is here the file whatever you have validated that file has to be there in the same path every time if the path is changed if you moved the file from one that location to wherever you have mapped from that location to another location if you have mapped then that will be a problem again that means i have uh, loaded that file from e drive e testing question something is there if somebody renamed that file or if somebody moved that file from uh, e drive to d drive then it will not work because from wherever you have mapped while inserting the checkpoint file has to be there in the same path okay so that is what file content checkpoint meet for okay